What is up, everybody? It's your favorite IFBB Pro Seth Ruzzi coming at you with a very big thank you video. We have hit over 700,000 subscribers on YouTube and it is it's pretty fucking wild. This video is a little overdue, Black Friday, all of the mayhem along with that, the seven days of giveaways, and then just the craziness of all the end of year stuff running a business. I can honestly say that I never, never thought I would be in the position I am today. Bob and I started AAR, All American Roughneck, years ago. Uh, we started it with $2,200 and just a couple of dickheads that wanted to see if we could do something cool to make the hardworking family man cool again. I do believe that we have achieved that at a level that I didn't think we would. And being in the position now, we have so many more aspirations for more. Um, dude, Black Friday was insane. Thank you guys for everything. And that's pretty much what I wanted to get at with this video. So all of the videos over the years, we've, hit, we've had videos that hit millions of views. Um, the whole slap your old lady on the ass and t let her know that you love her. Um, chicken and rice. Steroids, drugs, and life, the truck rants, pump cover reveals, mayhem videos of me being sauced out of my mind, fucking yoked, which I still love. Um, all the functional and fuckable stuff, all of anything that I was just transparent with and opened up about my life, who I was, my mentality, how I view life. We put it all out and you guys accepted it and to have 700,000 subscribers is very awesome. But what I'm getting at with this video, we were trying to figure out how to go about putting out a video of saying thank you to everybody. And we were gonna, you know, we could do a montage of all the cool things that I've done on the internet. But better yet, I thought, what better way to introduce and make sure that you all know when you're supporting the companies, Axe and Sledge, All American Roughneck, Just Work Energy, Elegance Elite Gymnastics, AAR Outdoors, anything that we have, you guys should know that there are real people behind it. There's over 40 people that work at our companies and you guys are supporting way more than just me. It's a community of people. There are couples, husband and wives that work here, families that you guys support. So I thought what better way than to introduce you to them for a quick snippet so you know there are real motherfuckers here that bust their asses for you to get cool shit in your hands every single time you order from us. So without further ado, let's go meet everybody. The content team, you see me work with them all the time. You can meet Jay. Hello. <laughs> this is Jay. Jay has been with us since the very beginning of everything. I know that you guys have seen, some of you guys know Jay, um, but he is who we put in charge of making some of the old school videos look really cool. I'll never forget whenever Jay rolled a fucking dumbbell across the floor at Legends of Pittsburgh. And uh, I'm like, hey, Bob, what the fuck is Jay doing? He's like, oh, no, dude, just let him be. Sure enough, I go to view the video that he put together for us, and it's fucking, j the opening scene of the video is this dumbbell rolling in front, and then a fucking start video just starts cracking, and I'm like, that was awesome. So, Jay has been an integral part of everything. Benny, who's usually in this office right here, Ben's sick. He doesn't feel well. Ben's responsible for all the reels that you guys see, at least the majority of them. Phenomenal what he does. He likes to roll around. He's good at jujitsu, loves kickboxing and golfing. Ben's like a, a, a closet badass. I don't think I'd like to fuck with him. He beat my, beat my legs up. Let's go. Ah, this is our resident meathead. This is Corey. You guys have seen him on a lot of stuff. Corey is uh, our IT specializationer. He does everything on the back end, all the systems, making sure that every single department and their systems operate properly. This is Corey. Corey has gained, what, 30 plus pounds in the past year? Yeah. Corey likes the weights. Pretty cool. Actually getting some legs now. So Corey didn't used to have legs. <laughs> and then he would always bitch about him. And then John, who's our other meathead in here, he's our athlete manager. He, uh, he would always make fun of them. And they would, we would do legs together. And Corey would always dip out white as a ghost, puking out in the fucking parking lot within 20 minutes in. Yeah. So I said, you need to just go squat. Just squat. Do 20 sets of 10 with 135. Now, Corey has a nice set of legs. It's growing, gained another 10 pounds. Whenever I need help with phones, computers, anything, I listen to him. Whenever he needs advice on how to get huge. It's a great relationship. Anna draws. <laughs> this is Gino. Gino's our accountant. Gino's Italian. We get along. 
He's the guy that makes sure everything happens properly with the finances. You got to keep the finance guys happy. You have to. You have to, because then at some point I'm going to say I won something that's kind of stupid, but it's going to be a write-off. That's Shane. You guys know Shane really well. Hey. Shane is uh, Shane is the VP of the company, VP of operations, everything when it comes to All, All American Roughneck, Axe and Sledge, Just Work. He is an equal partner in Just Work with us. Um, he makes sure everything runs properly. If I have any questions about what the fuck happens at this company, I go directly to Shane. Fuck him. <laughs> if you don't know where that came from, Shane used to be uh, third leg. Third leg. If you know the podcast, you know, on the HWMF podcast. So uh, it was always a joke that he liked to fuck with everybody about making sure that uh, he knew he hated things and every, just to piss people off. So that's how everybody got to say fuck him. This is Amy. Amy is in purchasing. She's not here today. She's off. It's Christmas, the New Year's week, so a lot of people are using their PTO time. That's Amy. From, it's Antonio Banderas from... Desperado, but they put her face on it. This is Justin. Justin is in the warehouse. I mean, you pretty much are a jack of all trades. He won Innovator of the Year Award at the Christmas party. This is Joe. Joe runs all of our inventory with every single company that we have. I don't really know what you guys do every day, but it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's behind the scenes. Yes. Behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Yeah. As long as this shit goes, <laughs> keep buying. <laughs> this is Lydia. That's Joe's, that's Joe's wife. Joe works in the warehouse. Lydia is one of our designers. She does the graphic design. She does all the labels, all the graphic design stuff. Pretty much all of the most unsexy, unfun things with a label that happens, that needs done, that's Lydia's job. Lydia is crucial for Bob to make sure that he does his job with labels. I would not want Lydia's job. This is Ange. Ange is our purchasing manager. Every single thing that happens with anything from All American Roughneck, from the accessories, any apparel, absolutely every single thing under the sun for All American Roughneck and Axe and Sledge. Ange does spreadsheets, and a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of them. Okay, so we have a little bit of mayhem going on. This is the customer service. They, say they just came into this room because we're moving facilities. This is Kelly. Kelly is your customer service manager, runs all the demo crew, runs everything. She's the one that is very nice to everybody, at least runs everybody that's supposed to be very nice to everybody and not lose their shit whenever you guys fuck up. Or sometimes we make mistakes and make it right. But this is Kelly. There's Aaron. Aaron pretty much uh, handles all of you assholes from all American Roughneck fuck ups. That's him. He does a good job. Customer service is something that whenever we first started the company, I had no idea how important it was. I kind of downplayed the importance of customer service. But now, six years later, customer service is really fucking important. You should have a good customer service department. Megan is also here. Megan is Jay's wife. Megan is potentially one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire life. And somehow, even when people are an asshole to her, she thinks about how she could make their day better to make them feel better about why they were an asshole to her. Phenomenal person. Jay's lucky man. Nick is the lead designer for All American Roughneck. Anything that comes from All American Roughneck and all of my fucked up crazy ideas with designs or anything like it, Nick brings them to life. Long walks on the beach, wine out of a box. Nick's a happy man. <laughs> this is Brittany. Brittany is our brand coordinator. She deals with a lot of bullshit when it comes to pretty much any event under the sun. And again, is very good at talking to people and making sure things get done. Also coordinates a lot of the social media stuff. This is Ryan Hacksaw, uh, former hockey player in college. He is a designer that we have for pretty much every company under the sun. Him and Lydia, uh, him and Lydia work really close on a lot of the designs for labels. Uh, Ryan does all of our renderings for all of our products. Anything that is not a photograph that Jay has taken. Ryan does the renderings. He's also handling all of the Arnold Classic booth that we have going on. He does a good job. This is Sydney. Sydney works here and she does the social media for us. She pretty much is taking over everything that Brittany used to do for social media and Sydney is doing that for us now. Young, social media. I should not do that. TikTok, everything pretty much. Sydney's uh, boyfriend is Aiden. He's the other guy that films all this stuff. He's usually here. He is away right now filming Anton and Kyle out in New Jersey. Aiden is also part of the Meathead crew here. He is included in that. Meathead. 
Right now he's bulking, so he put on, I think, what do you put on, 10, 10 plus pounds? Something like that. Yeah, he put on, he's thick boy season. He, yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> John, Meathead Crew, he does all of our uh, athlete management stuff. All of our athletes, all the demo crew payouts are from our affiliate program. He handles all that. He is also, John does not say no when it comes to anything for the company. We need him to go here, go there, handle events, John. And then in the corner over there on the other side of this, catty corner from this meathead, side to this meathead, is Ty. I think Ty is giving Corey a run for his money in uh, the lead of the meathead group here. Ty has two coolers everywhere he goes. Ty also put on 30 pounds this year. Um, he's going to he's going to do the Pittsburgh this year for, in 2024. Um, he's also young. What is he, 23, 24? 20, 22. 22? 22. Man, no, he's not. Yeah. There's no way yeah. he's 22. Yeah, he graduated high school at the same time. Get the fuck out of here. Man, he's thick old boy. <laughs> Very reminiscent of me from back in the day. But no, uh, Ty also, uh, he works in customer service. Um, really great kid. Let's go see Heather. This is Heather. You've probably seen her in some other videos. Lead of product innovation. I guess the scientific meathead of the group. We can put you there. Uh, so this year we're going to be releasing a ton of new products. Heather and I have been working on them probably for the past three to six months. More than one pre-workout. Potentially three new pre-workouts in 2024. Um, new lines of protein. Um, reformulating a couple products that we think we can make better with some of the new ingredients that are out. And also just a brand new repertoire of flavors. So Heather has cabinets full of samples all over the place. It's tons of fun. She probably is like the most fun scientific meathead. So whenever we do any of the product sampling, uh, whether it's try, trialing a, a product for flavor or the effectiveness, that's why we get the meatheads involved. And it's, uh, it's actually, it's been really fun over the past few months because there's been so many. And right now we're just finalizing everything to kick off in 2024. But the scientific meathead of the group. But then just also working with uh, manufacturers, um, international accounts, um, and training the sales team and everybody on the products, why we did things the way they did. So uh, it's way more than just being a cool scientific meathead, just bringing in new products. There is so much day-to-day -day bullshit involved with it that uh, she handles very well. Also another young person. You can see that I think the average age of you, how old are you? 26. You're 26. The average age of everybody here is like mid-20s for sure. All right, so now we are at the warehouse to see the warehouse crew. Quite the unique group of people. Um, but uh, we're, we're about 15 minutes away from our facility. That's our overflow warehouse over there. And then we have another overflow warehouse across the street in another industrial park. We're not under all, all under one roof. Um, we've had opportunities to do so. However, just where we are in a centrally located area, there's, we haven't found the opportunity for us to uh, get under one roof. That's our goal, but uh, we've had it further away, like an hour away. We've had a great spot that we could build on all this, but we'd lose people if we moved. And that's not something that uh, I'm not a fan of. I like all the people working here. I love our people and that's what this video is about. But um, that's one of the reasons that we haven't had it all under one roof yet. Gentlemen, again, yeah, there's Joe and uh, Justin again. Our warehouse manager, Justin Pfeiffer, is not here. Justin is the, uh, he's the ringleader of this crew, one hell of a guy, one hell of a model American. Uh, he's with his kids right now. He has three sons and they are in, um, they're all big time wrestlers and there's a massive tournament going on this weekend over the holiday. It's the Powerade tournament and uh, he took off to spend the day with them. So phenomenal guy and quite the unique character. Stay on the lookout. We're going to be running a massive warehouse sale here in probably the next five days. So big discounts, clearing the warehouse out. We're, we're working hard. We're yeah. fucking focused, baby. You already know. Everybody, this is, uh, this is Noah Dipko. This is Ben's brother. Um, the better one. Just, just to make sure you know that. The better one. I don't and think more handsome. I, uh, more handsome for sure. Uh, like I was saying earlier about Ben, Ben is uh, like a closet badass. Noah is the very outspoken psychopath of the family, rugby player. Um, 
six, seven, eight concussions so far this year. <laughs> no, but uh, Noah works here in the warehouse, and uh, just everybody here is, uh, is awesome people, but character, to say the least. You are, you are a taken man as well, correct? No. 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 Oh, we'll start that part. Sir. And ladies, Mr. Noah is a single man, and from what I remember about rugby players, they are phenomenal, aggressive, very well endured men. Sweet, also. Sweet, also. We're like Sour Patch Kids, baby girl. <laughs> this is Chase. Chase is part of the AAR lead. He makes sure that all the orders go out, pretty much takes over when it comes to big releases and also the day to day action on All American Roughneck. Yes, sir. Solid motherfucker. My man. man. Must be break time. Everybody, this is Nick. Up, Nick is part of the warehouse crew as well. And this is Summer. She works in the warehouse here. Christy, how you doing? Also works in the warehouse. This is Chase. This is Chase's mother-in-law. So again, the whole family aspect of everything that's so far, I think we're up to you and Megan, Kelly and Corey, Chase, Christy, the Dipco brothers, Joe and Lydia. Big family group here. We also have had uh, a lot of the temp temporary employees. Uh, Justin, our warehouse manager, he is uh, heavily involved with the wrestling in the area, so some of our temp employees have been uh, seniors that are part of the wrestling program right down the road here at Silent Victory. Uh, sh shout out to Shane Valco, awesome guy. That's Bailey, and Gino's on the Zoom call with him. <laughs> Bailey's part of our accounting department, also getting his, you're getting your master's in logistics? In supply chain. Supply and chain management. And That's Sam, also in the accounting department. That's right. Yep. Good time. Sick hat, dude. Sick hat. Yeah, the Troganator. Always the best, Trogues. Yeah, dude, my brother and I went to Trogues. Um, dude, we probably went to Trogues like seven, eight years ago. Oh, yeah. Because when we went out there. It was like right whenever Mad Elf was like just popping off going crazy. Thank you very much. Jake's not here. Jake, he is lead on the accounting department with Gino. I wouldn't want Jake's job. Definitely wouldn't want Jake's job. I wouldn't want any of these fucking guys' job. I don't even know how he's like, I'm going to get my MBA in this, and I'm going to go for a supply chain. <laughs> Fuck no. I say this about customer service. Uh, I said it earlier, and the same thing with accounting. Um, I didn't take into account how important customer service was, and I did not ever think that we had this much accounting to do, but there is a fucking ton of moving parts on the back end. Very important department. This is Heather's office. Heather is our HR manager. She deals with... Uh, all the people stuff. HR, good job, Heather. Her son also comes in and helps from time to time. He is 16 or 17 years old. He's like six foot four, tall, handsome, beating the girls off with a stick, not his stick, but uh, really good family. All right, so now we gotta go find Neil. Neil is the ax and sledge uh, lead on um, everything. He is, he's a power lifter and Bef you know how Sam Sulik drinks all his chocolate milk and it's cool? Sam, or uh, Neil has been drinking like a half gallon of Fairlife chocolate milk for, oh, it's been a minute. And I, I found, found it funny. Yeah, there he is. So, this is Neil. Thick neck Neil, if you will. I found him about the chocolate milk drinking. Yes, how long have you been drinking a ga like a half gallon of chocolate milk? Close to two years. Yeah. Two years? Yeah. So whenever we first started, everybody's like, yeah, he just drinks it. That's Neil's. That's Neil's. Because I love Fairlife chocolate milk, but I have like a swig out of the container every night. You have it every single day. Yeah. How drink much, it by lunch. How much, uh, drink it by lunch. Yeah. How much weight have you gained since you started powerlifting? Because you've been powerlifting for a few years now. Yeah. Jeez. I was probably like 195 when I started. Holy fuck. Yeah. How much do you weigh now? Like 250s. So I was also telling everybody about... Ty, how Ty has gained like 30 pounds in the past year. Corey, how he has gained 30 pounds in the past year. And you've gained like... Close it, to I've, I've probably done 20 in the past year. In the past 15, year. 20 in the past. 15. Yeah. Something would like you that. pull... What was your... What would you pull this year? Uh, seven in my second competition. How old are you? You're young too. 26. 26 years old. Holy fuck. And that's the warehouse. A lot of people off for the holidays. They saved up PTO days to spend it with their families, take a day off here, two days off here for the long weekend with the new year, Christmas. But 
Um, we gave Noah and Ben awards at our Christmas party for the the uh, the employee to most likely get hurt outside of work awards, and that was those two because they both got hurt outside of work this year. Noah smashed his face, got concussions multiple times, and then uh, Ben ended up fucking. He did a leg kick whenever he was at uh, sparring. And uh, fucking just dude checked his kick and smashed his foot. So we're gonna head back to the facility. See what else we got going on today. Bob, uh, I was filming the video for the seven hundred thousand. Yeah. It's show everybody like whatever they're buying, who they're supporting. It's not just you and me anymore. It's not. <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> it's pretty wild. But no, uh, we have grown from uh, a company that did. What did we do the first year in business? I don't think we did a hundred grand. No. I don't think we sold a hundred thousand dollars. And if we did, we definitely didn't tell the government because some of it was cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A couple trade shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. Yeah. Because that was the year that we realized that we had to do more YouTube videos. Because mm -hmm. we saw Cali Muscle killing it down in Texas. Yeah, that was our first show. We're like, 2016. These, these guys are big YouTube guys. Yep. Yep. And then the second year is whenever we were like, fuck, we might have something cool because we did like 400 grand the next year in 2017. It was $467,000 we did in 2017. <laughs> yeah, that, that was like the wake up call. Like, okay, we, we, need, we need to get our shit together. We need to get organized. We need to, yeah, we can't just run this through like your personal finances. <laughs> no, you no. fucking idiots. <laughs> Me packing orders, these two coming in and shooting content. It was a wild time. Yeah, we were. me and Jay were driving four hours to come out, shoot content, come back, edit all the shit, get it all put up, come back out for, for shipping weekend. Yep. Adeline used to help me pack orders. It's, it's, it's crazy to think. It's crazy to think that I used to pack all the orders and I'd have Adeline help me. Yeah. Like, and now Adeline's, you know, she's 16 years old. That was fucking, dude, that was almost eight years. That was eight years ago. Mm -hmm. She was she was accurate, too. Dude, she's so smart. <laughs> we thought back then she was going to, like, be smart and everything. Like, we, she was going to do something. Like, I'm like, man, look how smart my kid is. <laughs> she can do this with us. Yeah. And then you're like, actually, dude, she's she has less of a mispick rate than you. Dude. Yeah, the, the customer service I was handling. It was all because of I me. I knew you picked them. Yeah, it wasn't Adeline. <laughs> People know me on the internet for a lot of the fucked up crazy shit that I have done, the motivational stuff, the videos, like now with a lot of the young YouTube guys and TikTokers, like the one Anthony Mantello, he called me an OG YouTuber and I was like, oh my God, holy fuck, I am that old. But it's pretty cool because a lot of the videos that we did inspired some of these young guys and, you know, Anthony was telling me, he's like, dude, I... You're, you are what you eat video. And I'm like, fuck, dude, that was a, it was a great video. Mm -hmm. The chicken and rice video. The motivational stuff. People saying, oh, you're the dude that's in those Machiavelli motivation videos. And I'm like, holy fuck. You know, because of my demeanor and my intensity and the things that we all have created through utilizing, like, my personality of what, what we are. I mean, what, what was cool at the time, too, like, me not knowing about bodybuilding and eating and you know I was learning everything firsthand when we were shooting these videos and that's honestly that was the side of it that I knew was going to work because I didn't know any of that information I was listening to you say it behind the camera all these times and like you'd be like was did, was did, it I, good? did I do good? Was and it good I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I just learned 25 fucking things about rear delts or like how do you cook your chicken so it doesn't taste the same every time or like like these little simple things that yeah. Dude, like if you're if you didn't if you didn't grow up a fan of fitness and bodybuilding, how else would you know those things? You wouldn't. You learn it through yeah. you just especially like cuz I learned from just trial and error and dudes at the gym and then everybody, whenever we would put things out, that's why there was fucking hundreds of thousands and millions of views on things. Mm -hmm. Like what I what I know now is is shoulder videos, more shoulder videos. <laughs> shoulder videos are the highest viewed fucking video we had. And I'm like, but Bob, I do the same shoulder workout every time. You're gonna do it again, Seth. <laughs> just add a new work, add a new exercise, take one out. And I'm like, holy fuck! But that's it was just that's what it was. People wanted to see big shoulders. They wanted yeah. to get jacked. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's been a while, it's been a fucking crazy ride, and to think that here we are, Axe and Sledge Supplements, All-American Roughneck, 
just work energy. We built a fucking gymnastics facility, for gosh sakes. Yeah. And you do it by just being a good motherfucker. Yep. Simple. Yep. Good core group. Good Phenomenal group. people. Yeah. It, there's so many unsexy things about business and about a label and about design. There's so many things that are not fun. Nobody really takes into account, but takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and like a level of meticulousness that I don't possess. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the one thing that over the years I've learned is to be able to uh, trust people and what they're good at and let them ride, let them run, let them go, let them do it. And then just make sure that you're there for guidance and approval and, and direction if they need it. Mm -hmm. Like even Nick, like how much Nick has helped. Oh my God. <laughs> my life would fall apart without Nick. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it would. It if we would. didn't, if we didn't have Shane, I don't think X and Switch would run. Mm -mm. I don't think it would. I think if Shane left, I would leave. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm out. I quit. <laughs> but it's but that's the thing. Nobody. It's 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 awesome. And I'd probably say, uh, if there was one person's job that I legitimately could never do. One of them I would never want to and can't, and that's Corey's. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way I could do Corey. And then the, uh, the other one would be any design. I don't even think I would could learn, I couldn't learn the systems to use, to, like Illustrator or any of those other fucking ones that are used. Couldn't do it. Spreadsheets, I could do. Numbers, yes. Direction, absolutely. I mean, I do that. I couldn't. I couldn't do the accounting stuff. Uh, well, I mean, no, you could. I could. I wouldn't want to. Want to? Like, I wouldn't want to be customer service lead. If, 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 if Ooh, I would. That's up there. That's number one for me. That I wouldn't want to do. Yeah. Like I was telling him how Megan's like she'll get on the phone and be like, I'm so sorry. Are you having like, she, like somebody could be yelling and she's gonna be like, I think he was having a bad day. Yeah. I, I, I there was there's a few that I would like to do maybe though, but I would not be able to do fuck all, and it wouldn't be possible. Mm -hmm. I would love to learn how to take pictures. Like that's one I would like to do. Like maybe Jay can do a little workshop. Well, no, there's it's it, what am I gonna do? Take a picture of myself? <laughs> well, maybe, <laughs> maybe you're more of a nature guy. Well, no, that's well that's what inspired me because the the fucking like. Dude, watching, watching like a really cool photo like from out in Idaho or any sick photo of like, dude, whenever Anton was shredded, Dougie shredded, Missy shredded, like really cool photos, you're like, fuck, dude, you, you're capturing moments in mm -hmm. time. Like that's really fucking cool to me. Yeah. Like you're, you're, you're taking a photograph and it looks like artwork. Like whenever Jay snaps like a fucking sick picture of someone shredded or like an intense photo of something or something in nature that we have, it's like you captured a moment that people are going to go, fuck yeah. But, just two morons fucking had an idea about being yourself. You know, just a hardworking motherfucker. Be a proud, proud, hardworking family man. Like, by that, you don't know, you're not always going to be perfect. You're not always, it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be the most sexy, oh my God, look how great, and I'm fucking just so stellar and spectacular. No, man, life is fucking tough. It's become a thing for me to be like everybody's favorite IFBB pro. It was just, yeah, it was fun, because I'm, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to enlighten your lives, trying to wake you up a little bit to fucking how hard things can be, but also how fucking beautiful things can be. Slap your woman on the ass and let her know you love her. She's your woman, and you are her man. You're supposed to let your woman know how much you love her, even on the fucking days when you don't. And how much she loves you on the days whenever you are the biggest fucking prick in the world, she somehow loves you still. Like, you have kids together, make sure you bask in the enjoyment of life. Because as, I've get, as we get older, and I'm known as an OG on YouTube, my daughter's 16 years old, you've watched her grow up, Addie the Animal, Emmy the Monster, like, SJ the fucking Terror. Like... <laughs> But it's, it's supposed, you're supposed, you don't have to be perfect. If you've made mistakes in the past, that's okay. Work through them. If, you, if you're having a hard time in life, it's okay. Just keep fucking going. 
We have been through the hardships. Bob sold his car to make sure that he had fucking money to live whenever we first started AAR in our first year of business. Um, we know what it's like to be down and out and just spend, your, spend every cent you have to make it happen. And we also know what it's like to have some success and watch other people have kids, buy vehicles, buy new homes, elevate themselves in life and, 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 and take that and be like, fuck yeah. What we are doing here is creating an opportunity for people to work harder and make more money for themselves and enjoy what they have. I'm very grateful for it, everyone. <clears throat> I know Bob is as well. Thank you guys for everything. And get ready for one hell of a 2024. Fucking A. Give her a good slap. Let her know you love her.